we've got all the walls in now i'll just run you through these ones these ones aren't actually going to stay with us this time bit of a shame for this guy because he was one of it was one that we really liked everyone liked him he's dazzling he loads well gets in the trailer but the old man's been watching him as he's been out and about what because the old man goes around the cattle every morning uh checking cows and uh you know looking after the cow and he's been watching him and watching him and as he's been serving cows uh his his member isn't quite working very well it's not doing it's what it's meant to do um he wants to do it but it's just not working um and for us that's just a big problem because it's going to give us issues with um carving come next year so uh a bit of a shame but this one has to go conrad here he's another south devon he's a south devon as well we liked him conrad here he's a big boy he will not hurt you but he will not load that in the trailers he will stand there and stand there and stand there and stand there and he just causes his issues every single time during tv during trying to move him about even today we stood there and stood there and stood there you cannot move him it doesn't matter what you do to him even if you lift his tail he will not go in that um that box so uh, unfortunately for him he is off down the road as well this girl here she had a dead calf this time round and she's got to an age of where she needs to go as well she's one of the older ones lucas here has got a bad foot he's had a bad foot for two years now he is a good bull he's been with us i think this is his sixth year it could be his fifth or sixth year with us um good bull but yeah for the last two years we've been treating him for a bad foot and it doesn't seem to be getting any better so uh he is off down the road as well and we've got 240 there she had mastitis this time and didn't recover and lost a quarter of her bag and she won't be able to feed calf uh next year so uh so yeah unfortunately that is the reality of farming some cows go some guys go um we will get paid for the uh, meat value of the animals so we'll get some money back and that will go towards the new bulls that come farmer hasn't decided what he wants to get back in um so yeah there will be some new animals coming we're getting close to harvest now we could even be harvesting today uh depending on how dry the corn and stuff is but uh pete is just getting some of the trailers ready we've got to wash them all out because obviously corn going in there they've had muck in there they want to be nice and clean pete's just washing them out i think we've got some preparations to do in the grain shed there uh to make sure everything's nice and clean for the grain to come in there I think that's what keeps these out at the minute um they're just hooking tractors up to trailers there could be some combining today uh, it might not mean that we fully get going today but they'll certainly go and try it and test it and see what see what it all does everything coming out on that side yeah on the left side yeah the tractor on that 67. yeah up two bags from, uh, yeah we'll move them all right all right, so it's been nice. We've had a week of, um, it hasn't been so crazy because we uh, finished haymaking about a week ago. So, preparations. The floor's dirty. The floor's got to be clean. We've got to add some panels in. We're going to do a split up this uh, center of the uh, grain store again. I think wheat coming this side, probably oats going the other side. I don't know how it'll happen. The farmer will decide that. But uh, the bags need to be removed. The floor's got to all be swept out. Tractors need to be pulled out. Combine will be uh, started up, checked over. Pete will make sure that's all ready to go. Uh, a lot of checking over, a lot of um, getting going. First day is always a bit slow. Little problems here and there everywhere, getting things going, but uh, we should be going by the end of the day, I would have thought. Farmer has just loaded another hay lorry.
right. Everything that gets brought back to the farm gets put through the weighbridge. You have to calibrate the uh, the fobs. You have to calibrate the bridge with the tractor. So you have to weigh everything first. And uh, each tractor and trailer has its own fob. Uh, so they're all different weights. All right. The old one, isn't it? She's not just there. At the top? Yeah. Oh. Is that our usual place there break, is it? Yeah. I, I would have thought they would have broken the middle somewhere with the twist, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, it's got all the pull up that end, Matt, and it's fucking like across the top and bottom. Pass, it's fucking dead. Pass this use by date. <laughs> yeah. Look at the flight in there. <laughs> it's all they just worn, wear down, don't they? Yeah, it just worn to nothing. It wants cutting off and uh, wants a bearing put back in here, mate. That's what it wants. It's just touching on the bottom, like welding on the bottom and wrecking the bottom. Yeah. It just wants a bit of love and care, but we ain't got time just today. No, no. Right, we're uh, over at Jim's. We're in the wheat and we're here to grab a few samples to see how far away it is from combining. Uh, we've got some up the tram line here. We're on a tram line at the moment. And uh, yeah, wherever you get compaction, Keithy, it's, why does it stay green if it's compacted? This is where it gets rolled down by the sprayer. There's a tractor and fertiliser spread that gets flattened down and just holds it back. Right, so it'll never go off? It will, yeah. It will die off eventually. Yeah, but everything else is ready. Yeah. But the green isn't, so... And we're a little bit late to spray it now, we were saying, weren't we? Yeah, I think it'll be fit before the spray works. Yes. So, what we actually did yesterday, Keithy came out with a tractor with 650s on tyres, and we just pushed it down. And it's done a nice job, hasn't it, really? Yeah, I it's, pushed like it, it's pushed it down enough to, you know, to warrant keeping most of it out the way of the, uh, the header there. It'll obviously take in a little bit, won't it? And yeah, it'll push the moisture yeah. up a tiny bit, but um, I don't think it'll matter too much. So what are you looking for then? Straw. Straw at the bottom. A bit of green in it still, like on the knuckle, but like that. Yeah. And moisture. See wet in that. Yeah. So ideally you want it to all be... Yeah, but that'll soon dry out once it's cut in a row. Yeah. Main a bit dry. Yeah. We're going to take a few ears back with us. Can if you want. Yeah. Just a few. Can't see any green ones. Do, do the ears look good? Yeah, they're all turning, hanging over. Yeah. It's a sign when they turn over like that. Is that is that a good length of straw? Do you think? Yeah, it's quite tall, really. Yeah. A bit taller than normal. Take those good. And you want to take a random sample, don't you? You don't Give want to just you. take loads from one little area. You want to yeah, tell pick. that it's coming out the ears. Isn't it? Oh right, yeah. Feel it shouts. Oh wow, yeah. okay. And what we're going to do? We're going to put it in the moisture meter at home, and we're going to measure measure how how dry it is. This was the first field here drilled, so this will be the fittest if uh, out of everything, won't it? Yeah, it's a bit brashy. It has burned a lot of it. Some of it's died off early on yeah. this field because there's a lot of brashy, gravelly ground in it. Well, and then give us a give us a give us a what do you what do you predict? Uh, Thirteen, twelve to thirteen percent. percent on the moisture. And what about yield? In this field? Yeah. This won't be as high year as the others. Why not? I'm going to say it's got these gravel, overall, gravel overall. patches that have died off early. Over, over, over the whole lot? Yeah. Be good to get three and a half. Yeah. So that won't be too bad, will it? 3.7. Right, there we go, look. We are. It won't be today, will it, Keithy? But it might be the next day or the next day after that. Yeah, it'll be Monday. And we've got some nice weather. It looks like we've got some dry weather, so it looks like we uh, should be in full swing, shouldn't we? Yeah. Be good. Nice. Harvest will be going. Me and Keithy did a nice job with the floor this morning. It's all nice and clean now. So the first lot of wheat's going to go in here. It's not going to take a lot up. It's not that many acres coming in, but um, uh, I think Ag reckons, farmer reckons there'll be 200 tons, if that. So. That's where it's going to go. Nice clean floor, all cleaned out. Um, it's Fredericia that's coming in. It's a bearded wheat. It's, um, we'll have a look at it later on. We'll go up and see the combine. We'll get some shots for you. And uh, yeah, we're going to have time to actually film the combine this year. So uh, it should be, um, we'll make some nice pictures. That's ground through now. Stop, stop. You've got to line up that little mark with one of those on the cross. That's it. Now slide that across. Now turn it until it clicks. Wind it again. This. Oh, this. Other way, that's it. One king eye. Keep going. 
click, that'll do. Mm -hmm. Now press, press your button. Ooh, oh. 16 on the button. Wetter than the other day. That's all, oh, that's Merton stuff though, isn't it? That's, that's the first stuff at Merton, yeah. So that's not far away though, is it, Pete? That would change. That would you didn't tell me you were testing that, or I'd have had a different figure than 13. Ah. Oh. Okay. Right, so before we go and do anything, we always make sure trailer tyres all at the right pressures you've got to have them all set we have them set at 40. Uh, you want them all set the same so everything travels nice along the road yeah Pete's just checked the tires there's one iffy one so we just swapped it onto uh onto the yellow one this one probably isn't going to get used so much this time because we've got the hired one here so uh, we just make sure that all the you know these things you can control you can control these if you've got a dodgy tire on there you'll guarantee it'll go down just as uh, Peter's filling you up or something like that. So uh, we make sure everything's as good as it can be before we go. We put some tape around the board here just to make sure there's no grain seeping out the uh, tailboard there. Uh, because when you go around the corners, these actually move a little bit. Uh, so yeah, that just seals the uh, tailboard along the road. Linda's here for some Two. Oh, I don't know. Two round bales. You should be able to do this, Peter. Do 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 I don't know if you uh, if you have to do, but they just go on easier if you do it. Right, this yellow one should go onto that, like that. Flippy and out. Air brakes, eh? Remember last year when um, Uncle Frank realised it had air brakes and he plugged in the hydraulic and the air ones? Yes, and also oh, a, big sign, a big sign here that says Do not Do not do that Yeah You didn't know though, bless him No To be fair, I wouldn't have known No Also, if you're using it hydraulically, you got to empty the, the back Yeah, okay. before you even get on it all Right, so, first day of harvest Charlie's gonna lead the way. Peter's got they got a little uh, road trip up to the uh, up to Mix Farm. We're gonna catch up with them later on. There'll be some fiddling about while they put the header on, test the corn, and make sure it's all goable. But uh... Have a load of fun on the road now. Keithy's got his AS on. He's going to head up there in a minute. He doesn't need to rush up there because Charlie will have two fills before he's got to get up there. But uh, Keithy's got the higher trailer on, all on air brakes. So uh, yeah, that should travel nice down the road for him. And uh, it, suits, it goes nice on there. It looks, that looks nice set up, doesn't it, Keith? Hey. Looks nice on there, doesn't it? Like that. Yeah. I'll have a unit. Peter started combining this afternoon. He's about to chop me up. Get covered in dust now. This is the wheat, winter wheat. There's a fair heap of straw. Straw looks nice. Look at that straw, bloody hell. I don't know what's yield. It's a bit fiddly on these little fields. They have to keep taking the header off here, there and everywhere. So it takes time. Uh, you've got to unhook the header, drag it through the gate, go through the next gate, put the header back on. Uh, it takes a minute or two. Uh, we just had a little look at the grain. The farmer wasn't that impressed with it. This is a uh, Federicia. If you have a look at the crop, it's a uh, bearded wheat. So you've got these little uh, fine spines on there as well. Look. And uh, they call that a bearded wheat. And uh, if you're not paying attention, it actually, uh, to start with, it looks like barley from afar. But um, yeah, but the, uh, 
the uh, grain size was coming out a little bit um, all over the place, a little bit um, small. Pete will always go around three times, goes around three, feel three times, and then he starts his ups and downs. Here comes Keithy. Look at that track, will it? Bloody hell, that looks mental. I've got to get a picture of it. does look nice that track. We've got a drone with us so we'll have a little flyabout. It's a bit windy like but we'll have a flyabout. The straw, the straw, rows of straw, look, look at this. Beautiful straw. Nice and soft. Beautiful. I'm gonna get covered now. There goes Charlie. Peter will be doing, he would have already done it, making sure his sieve settings are right, he'll be, uh, he'll be scowling the ground just to make sure he's not getting any loss, nothing thrown over the back and you basically you just have to search and you uh, you want to be searching in the straw row as well but uh, Peter would have already done it, he scowls the ground looking for seeds making sure there's nothing getting thrown over the back and there's no loss jump over this way. There goes Peter. Got young Matthew in there with him. Well done Charlie, well done, no spillage. What's he in? He won't give me the photo. No, Nobody Pete will because Pete's no, cool. No one does that. Pete does. We take the stands off the trailer because the trailer, the uh, stands will drag the straw underneath the tractor and uh, it leaves a horrible, horrible uh, line in the straw. So we always take the stands off. You've got to remember when you're helping Pete with the header, you've got to put the stand back on, take everything off. Bit of a fiddle. I think this is the last field they're going to do tonight. That looks better in here. We're getting in. Ah, I've got... There's the grain. Farmer wasn't too impressed with it. A few green ones in there, look. That'll be the tram lines. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? What's she doing? Driving me about. The darker, the darker color corn usually is a uh, sign of protein, but there's a few shriveled one in, ones in there I can see as well. This is a Federicia, it's called. Fred, Federicia. The straw is really nice. I don't, know what the, um, I don't know what the yield was. Charlie said at some points it's doing four ton to the acre. That's really nice. Look at all that in one ton. He can stick eight tons of corn in his tank on the combine. That's a nice look at that. I ain't got to walk to the gate now. That's the new combine. Last year we didn't get too much footage of it. We had a little bit, but we, didn't, we were busy haymaking at the time as well. And we were on the hay side of things. So uh, we didn't actually see too much footage of the combine. We didn't get any drone footage. Uh, we might not get any drone footage tonight, but um, yeah, we're going again tomorrow. We'll get some drone footage tomorrow. 
there he goes. There. They're talking about me, I can tell. The thing spinning on the back there, that's the air cleaner for the engine. Uh, to stop the fans getting blocked up. Not funny. That's not funny. Be careful when you unplug them, they'll come at you fast. Put your hand to the top. Now Always plug the leads in because if you don't, you'll drag them across the floor and they'll come out. You always turn your hips the other way just to make sure you don't catch nothing. You can't, you can't turn super duper tight with these headers, you've got to watch what you're doing. And the header only goes on one way, so you've got to sort of figure out where the combine is. There we go. Now, Keith, you'll take the header to the next field. We're going to follow him over there. We're going to put the drone up. Hopefully, we get a ride on Peter. If not, we'll get a ride on tomorrow. Woo! It's going to run me down. Oh. And Keith, he will uh, come back, get his trailer, and start tipping again. At most of the farms, Peter can actually get across most of the fields with the header on. So he hasn't got to take it off and on too many times. There's, but some farms, you, you can't get away from it. So they're smaller gateways and uh, all the rest of it. But some of the bigger farms, they um, everything's... Uh, we've got big openings, big gateways, big... Um, so Peter can get from field to field with the header on. Um, it's one of the reasons we didn't have the bigger header was because we would have to widen every single gateway for Peter to get across and when you've got to keep unhitching and hitching on every single field um, yeah you're just wasting time basically Peter can get into the next field nice and easy um, yeah but the combine seems to be going all right and uh, the corn seems to be yielding okay um, even though it's a little bit um, on the small side the grain is uh, probably to do with the drought, but uh, you can't odds that. The yield's okay. He hasn't put his chain on, I can see. He's got an anti-static chain underneath his combine. He will run that along the floor, and it actually stops the dust sticking to the combine. And it works. He would uh, usually spend uh, a lot of time um, cleaning the windows three or four times a day, and if you run the chain, you just he, he attaches it to the chassis and if he runs the chain he will actually um, only do it not even half as much and uh, we'll be running next to the combine soon enough uh, so there's going to be loads of content coming with the combine hope and uh, yeah we'll uh, try and get a nice picture at each farm for you